everybody, it's Stacy with As The Tea Brews. Today I have kind of a fun video for you. Hopefully this won't be too long, um, but I have a lot to show you and a lot to say. So we're gonna go through all of my teas and I'm gonna show you my entire tea collection and how I store them. You'll have to let me know in the comments below if you also have any of these teas um, or if you have any suggestions about my storage. I did do a storage and collection video a couple of years ago. I will try to remember to link it here um, to add the little link on the video and then also link it in the description below. Let's get started. So you might have seen the video about me redoing my tea area and creating my coffee and tea bar. I hadn't moved in all of my teas yet when I did that video. Um, but I'll show you the unit and I'll kind of show you everything here and then we'll get into all the teas um, that I have stored below. Okay, so above my tea storage unit, I have this shelf. I've had this shelf for years and years. I got it a long time ago at Hobby Lobby, probably t close to 10 years ago. Um, I had this above my coffee tea bar in my old house and I have repurposed it here now finally. But this area in our home was just empty for so long. I had a couple of other units here, but nothing quite fit right. So I was happy to repurpose this area. Um, so I have some mugs hanging from it and on the shelf, I'll change this out seasonally. Spring is my least favorite holiday or um, season to decorate for. I just don't love spring colors. I'm much more of a like winter, fall kind of person. Up on the top shelf there, I've got my coffee in a tin um, because we make coffee every morning, brewed coffee. I've got a couple little spring decorations, little troll, things like that. Um, in the drawers there, we have some coffee pods, which we don't use a lot, but we like to have on hand just in case. Some like chocolate sauces and caramel sauces. And we don't use those a whole lot, but we have them, so we figured we may as well put them there. And then I have some tea samples up in that drawer. Most of those are old. I also have some advent calendar teas that are left over up there. And then I have a jar of Ovaltine, which we use a lot in our cold brews. I don't know if you guys are interested in me doing a cold brew video for you or not, how we make that. Um, cold brew we've done with coffee and with tea. And then we make like a delicious cold foam to go on top of it. And it is so good. And we put it on ice. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that, because that would be a fun video to make. And maybe I can enlist Abby to help with that. But below the shelf, there's this little bar and we have some mugs hanging there and a towel. I've kind of swapped the towel out um, for different seasons, but this one feels very springy to me. So I absolutely love it. It says this home is our happily ever after and it's got a teacup with some flowers. These teacups are just very generic and simple and plain. Um, I have swapped them out for different colors, but I've only had this unit for set up in this house for a couple months now. Okay, so on the top of the unit, I have our coffee pot, which can do coffee pods, or we just usually brew a big pot of coffee in the morning. And then I have some Tarani syrups. Um, those we use for our cold brews pretty much exclusively. Um, sometimes the kids will add a little bit to like a sparkling water or to a soda. Uh, but those we pretty much got for our cold brews because we absolutely love making our cold brews. And lately we've turned those into shaken espressos, <laughs> but same idea. Um, and then I have a little tray over here that just has the little Kinto teapot that I use like every day and a couple of my favorite teacups from David's Tea, some spoons that I use to make tea with, and a couple teas that I wanna do reviews on. And then I've got a little word board sign that I will change out the saying for. And then the much awaited event. Okay, this is partly why I haven't filmed this video yet because it's kind of awkward to get all the way down here close to the floor and try to film. But here is the bottom of the unit um, where I have all of my tea with the exception of my tea refills. And I'll show you guys that also, but it's just, it's a little bit low, so it's kind of hard to film, but I love having it all down here. Okay, here it is. Okay, I might end up getting cut out of the video here, but I know you're not here to see me anyway, you're here to see the tea, so it's okay. I just wanna be able to see you guys face to face and be able to talk to you when I want to. Um, okay, so the organization in this is not like I had it before. Before I had it all sectioned out by type of tea, 
Exactly. Like just type of tea. I had my matchas, I had my green teas, I had my black teas, um, you know, not in that order, but um, I had each type of tea together, but I didn't do that in this one. Um, couple reasons. Number one, it was hard to quite kind of make things fit with the organizational supplies that I had. And then number two, I just didn't know that I wanted that. I don't always, always want just like, I want a black tea or I want a green tea sometimes. And so I do have some of that happening here. Um, but this is what I did. Okay. So right here, front and center, I have most of my Old Barrel Tea Company teas. These are my larger tins, and I put one of their, when you get their tea club box, you get a sticker each season, and I have a few of those, so um, I put one of their stickers here, and then I have my tins here. Um, and I'll just go ahead and I'll tell you guys the teas that I have in each section, um, because I told you that we would go through my whole collection, so we are going to do that. And I'm not really gonna say very much about the teas, because that would just make a really long video, but let me know below what teas you are more interested in hearing about, and I will try to film some videos on that. Um, maybe even I could do a video for each like company of tea that I have, um, that might be fun. Okay, so uh, before I read these, I, these two drawers right here are both most of my Old Barrel Tea Company teas, and I would say they are probably one of my top favorite companies, um, and I have a lot of teas from them. So I have most of them right here. Um, I do have some organized into a couple different categories um, that I'll go over later. Okay, so here I have banana bread coffee puer, pineapple upside down coffee cake, fire on the mountain, Mexican hot chocolate, chocolate orange puer, strawberry hazelnut puer, green chili bizcochito, mocha mate, mango paradise, white peach, and winter cabin. And those are large tins that I've purchased. Um, I do have some large tins in this drawer also. I have Somerville Sweet Tea, uh, Lavender Sage Lemonade, Butterfly Garden, and then the rest are smaller ones that came in their seasonal tea club boxes. So I have Shrimp Boom Cocoa, Lavender Sage Lemonade, and Chamomile, Blueberry and Vanilla Rooibos. This one, it used to be called uh, Belize and Sorel, Gaisa and Hortato Roibus, but they have changed the name to, and I put a little label on here, Tropical Cinnamon Sangria, Apple Empanada, Berry, uh, Blood Orange Lemongrass, Winter Cabin Vanilla Roibus, Green Chili Biscochito and Coconut Cream Puer, Pecan Pie, Bee Pollen Vanilla Roibus, Mocha Mate and Bourbon Brew, and Chinese Milk. And then there's one more here, Yerba Mate and Peppermint. Um, while I was reading those, I want, remembered that I wanted to tell you guys about this. This is a little ring. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, Abby took a jewelry making class at school last semester and for Christmas she gave me this ring and hopefully you can tell it's a little teapot. She designed it, I think, and cut it out and um, had to sand it and polish it and fuse it onto the ring that she made. And so I love it, it's so cute. But I wanted to, I keep meaning to share this ring with you guys and I kept forgetting. So I wore it today, so I wanted to show you that. Okay, now over here, I have some white teas. I love white tea. I don't have a whole lot in my collection right now. I do have some white teas mixed in um, to like the Old Barrel Tea Company ones, like the white peach, I know for sure. That might be the only one. Um, but I have white peony. Um, and these are all different companies. Vital Tea Leaf, from Vital Tea Leaf, uh, Bai Hao Yin Zen, I'm sure I said that wrong, but that's a white tea from David's Tea, White Peach Tea from Tea Renners, uh, Cranberry Orange Scone from The Necessities, and then Blueberry White Tea from Tea Runners, and this one is Zen Pearls from David's Tea. Um, so those are the ones in the white tea section. I have a little notebook and with some pens in here also that I have some video ideas. And then if you've watched my Let's Make Tea videos, I started writing down the teas that I have um, done with those because I did a repeat one day and I thought, did I do that tea already? And so I thought if I write them down, then maybe I can um, try and get through all of my teas on here. But I did forget to write down the one I did yesterday. 
I don't even remember what it was. I have to look back and see. <laughs> if you remember what my newest one is, comment below. Um, but I've got some, that's a notebook to just keep notes about like tea stuff, videos, teas, that kind of thing. Okay, and then over here, this is kind of, um, so first I have green tea here. Uh, not including matcha. Matcha I have separately, but I have Poppin' Christmas Sweet and Salty from Bird and Blend. I've got this tiny little tin of Let It Snow from David's Tea. I have Magic Hour Heart Chakra Tea Blend. I've got Cashmere Thai from David's Tea. Hojicha Cinnamon Raisin Bread Pudding. Tropical, uh, that one's from Dessert by Deb. Plum Deluxe Tropical Vacation Green Tea. Uh, full Body Reset Green Tea from Plum Deluxe and Pina Colada from Nelson's Tea. And there's one little tea sample in here, Green Roy Des Bonita. And then up here, I have a couple that are just, I really only have as iced tea. So I have a little label here. I have some black tea bags back there. I have Maui Madness and Strawberry Lemonade, both from Davis Tea. Um, and I usually only do those iced. I have a few miscellaneous teas here that I don't drink a ton, but I have them. Um, I have like a black chai. Uh, from India that I will use to make like a, a masala chai. I have a milk oolong and a blue people ginseng oolong from Vital Tea Leaf in San Francisco. And then I have a black tea here from China that a friend of mine gave me um, and a Guanzu milk oolong back there that I don't particularly like, but my mom likes it. So I kind of, I thought about getting rid of a couple of these oolongs, but she really likes them, so I'll hold on to them. I have a couple sugar cubes right over here on the side. I have uh, some miscellaneous tea supplies, my frothers, and the charger for the frother, a couple extra spoons, and some little tea bag holders. Okay, and then moving on down to the bottom. I'd say it's a little more organized on the bottom. Over here, I have a two layer circular tray with honeys and sweeteners. And so I have some rock sugar and sugar cubes. And then uh, there's monk fruit sweetener as well as all of my honeys that are down here. Here I have my black and oolongs, minus those oolongs that are up here that I don't drink very often. Um, and so this drawer contains maple sticky chai buns from Dessert by Deb, candy cane crush from David's Tea, got a couple small advent calendar teas down here. This one is organic cream of Earl Grey and organic David's breakfast blend. I have peppermint cream from Bird and Blend. I have vanilla orchid from David's Tea. I have... Queen of the Rainforest from Magic Hour. I have orange cinnamon rolls from Dessert by Deb. I have Soul Masala Chai Powder. I have Pumpkin Chai from David's Tea and Walnut Fudge from David's Tea. And then I also have a Masala Chai sample from Adagio and a couple of oolongs from Magic Hour Renewal and the Chi Kuan Yin. Okay, right below the black teas and the oolongs, I have a tin of, or I have a drawer full of matchas. And these are my matchas. I have a Gen Matcha powder from Tea Zanti. I have ginger nut matcha from Bird and Blend. I have a ceremonial matcha from Adagio. I have mermaid matcha from Bird and Blend. Uh, turmeric matcha from Bird and Blend, lemon, lemon matcha from Bird and Blend, ice cream matcha from Bird and Blend. This is just a regular matcha from Old Barrel Tea Company that the tin, the lid was stuck, so I had to put it in a different tin. And then I have a few matcha samples down here from a matcha advent calendar. Um, I have a mocha matcha, candy cane matcha, mango matcha. I have Midori Spring ceremonial matcha. And I have, it just feels like it's almost empty. It is almost empty. I have a raspberry matcha from Adagio. And then I have some tea angle matchas, um, 
ginger and lemongrass. I only have one or two servings left of that. Peppermint and chai. Okay, so these Magic Hour bottles, I absolutely love. They're beautiful, but they really um, don't fit in this storage unit very well, the way that I have it set up. And I'm totally open to ideas. Um, I just don't want to spend a lot to go out and buy more stuff. I did buy a couple of these shelves, or maybe just one. I had some of them. And then I bought a couple more of these um, clear drawers, but I had already had several of these. So I didn't have to buy too much to put everything in here the way it is. Um, but these, these beautiful jars don't fit, don't fit in any of the, the spots. So they're kind of in between here. Um, I've got a Cine Eraser Puer Tea from Magic Hour and Bohemian Breakfast. And right back there, I also have, can you see it? Yes, you can. Um, from Knott's Berry Farm, a boysenberry tea, black tea that my sister gave me that I think is going to be delicious iced. I think I'm really going to like that this summer iced. And then next to it, I have a drawer of herbal teas. Now my herbal teas kind of extend below and next to it. This whole section is herbal here, but I have these categorized in two ways. I have general herbal teas that fit in this because there's some that didn't fit in this. And then I have bedtime teas and the bedtime teas are the ones that we tend to have right before bed. Um, the herbal teas will have any time we just want an herbal tea. So. I've got bags and tins in here. It's kind of a mess, but we're gonna try and get through them all. One Love Tea Wild Cherry with Lion's Mane Mushroom. Raspberry Cream Pie Rooibos from David's Tea. Witch's Brew Rooibos from David's Tea. One Love Tea Passion Orange Guava. The Necessities Cotton Candy. Chaga Chai from David's Tea. Root Chakra Tea Blend from Audacious. Actually, I'm gonna brew that one right now. That one sounds good. Oatmeal chocolate chip cookie from Dessert by Deb, and jelly donut from David's Tea, and then a couple of other bags here. Um, a Champs Elysees herbal tea from Plum Deluxe, cocoa lavender herbal chai from Plum Deluxe, a Nelson's Tea American apple pie, and Focus Pocus memory. I need to use up some of these smaller ones. I should do a weekly tea basket again. You guys remember the weekly tea baskets? Is anybody still doing those? Uh, I should do one. Okay. And then next to it, I have um, just a few things that didn't fit elsewhere. They're larger or I just had too many things. But this is a Magic Hour Tea Child's Pose. Next to it is Magic Hour Queen of the South. And these are all still herbal on this side. I have my giant tin of Forever Nuts from David's Tea, which we literally forgot about because it was like in the back corner of my pantry and we forgot about it. I have so much, I have a lot of this tea. Mmm, it smells so good. Fruity and cinnamony. Maybe I should make this one. Okay, I mean, I have my water all warmed up. I just need to steep a cup of tea, but I'm down here talking to you guys instead of making some tea, but I will get to it. And then I have Sister Serenity's Tea of Tranquility. This is a white chocolate mint. Oh, that smells good. Okay, some of these we forgot about before. We need to, to get to drinking them. Uh, Burden Blend Baby Spice, the Loose Leaf Stress Relief. I have a Bella Luna Blue, which isn't my favorite, but it's a really fun iced tea. So I'm kind of saving that one for maybe like a little tea party or something. You, know, you squeeze lemon in it and it changes color. Uh, oh, I've got cold 911 shoved back there because we only use that if we're sick. We don't really like it otherwise. Okay, and then this other bag is this tropical tea from the company, I guess, is called K, but I bought it at the Cave Cafe in Salt Lake City and it was delicious um, fruit herbal tea. And then the last drawer here is the bedtime teas. And these are the teas that I, you know, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna drink one of two teas before bed. <laughs> and it's either Lay Digestive, which I've been drinking this whole week, I've had this every night. Um, I got into the habit of drinking this one instead of the Happy Intestine, which I was drinking for a while because I ran out of Happy Intestine. But um, I remembered how much I like Lay Digestive, so I've just been drinking that one. But I also have Detox from the Loose Leaf. And I have some 
mantra mint from magic hour i have a david's tea sleepy lychee sleepy lychee peppermint amore david's tea this one is belly be calm digestion from new orleans tea this is a oh, here's a couple more of the <laughs> old barrel tea company ones uh pumpkin pie chai and bourbon brew and here's more old barrel tea company uh let's see american wildflower peppermint and ginger lavender chamomile and that's it <laughs> we did it we read them all we went through all of the teas you guys okay that was a lot of tea um I actually can't believe I fit all of that in here. The only thing I did not fit in here was a few refills, so I'll show you that right now. Okay, I forgot I had tea bags in here also. So these are the tea bags that I have. I have Yogi Mango Ginger. I have Yogi Echinacea Immune Support. I've got a few Bigelow Orange and Spice. I have Trader Joe's Ginger Turmeric. I have Honey Chai Turmeric Vitality from Yogi. I have some more of that, gin, that Trader Joe's ginger turmeric. These are aloe blossom herbal teas from Forever Living. I have well-rested herbal tea from Trader Joe's. That's just the same thing, different packaging. Or um, I have chamomile from Trader Joe's. Okay, and th these are just so random. I have Trader Joe's English Breakfast, Harney and Sons English Breakfast, Easy Pleasy Tea, Earl Grey, Earl Grey, Earl Grey from Harney and Sons, Earl Grey from the Tea Spot. Some of these were samples. Some of these are leftover from boxes I bought. More Earl Grey from Harney and Sons, Tivana Joy. And then I have some various tea bags from David's Tea, Saigon Chai. Organic Cold 911, Vanilla Bergamot, Zest Wishes, Candy Cane Crush, Sleigh Ride, and then Trader Joe's Jasmine Green Tea, and some Dynasty Brown Rice Tea. And then these are my refills that I have of things. I have an extra Vanilla Bean Honey, Old Barrel Tea Company. This is Happy Intestine from the Loose Leaf. I have another bag of that right here. I've got some more of the chai from India. I have an extra winter cabin kuwer from Old Barrel Tea Company, an extra pumpkin chai, an extra Guanzu milk oolong from David's Tea. I have more Queen of the South from Magic Hour. Oh, I have roasted corn tea, which is a Korean tea that we love. I have two bags of Lay Digestive and that's it. So I think this was just a little bit left over of the detox that didn't fit in. I feel like that was kind of intense reading all of those teas to you guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the teas that I have in my collection and seeing my organized chaotic tea area. I am going to brew up some Audacious from Magic Hour. I have one cup left of it after this. And it's not a tea that I'm gonna buy again, but I, I do enjoy drinking it. I don't dislike it. It's just not one that I feel like I need to have in stock or you know on hand all of the time. But I'm gonna use this tea up and then I will see you guys next time. Please leave me a comment below with anything that you enjoyed about this video. Um, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, then I would love for you to be notified when I come out with new videos. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.